I was born in London, um, of Caribbean parentage, but our ancestry is Ghanaian, of the uh, Ashanti people, um, and I've been in Oxford for 20 years. Black History Month is uh, a chance to promote um, awareness of the contribution that we've made to art and culture and to this word called civilization. We all need to have our culture knowledge upgraded. Black History Month for me gives me a chance to kind of fill in some of those gaps and add some balance. There should be provision around Asian studies and Irish studies and, and East European studies, but that's for other people to um, promote and teach my one is uh, African studies because of my ancestry. I've delivered workshops at the Association of the Blind at My Life, My Choice in four secondary schools and five youth projects. So we are starting to break down certain doors, but there's still a, a long way to go. So I'm willing to go wherever people want to learn. My style of teaching is very interactive, so I use various kind of participatory aids um, and that generates a lot of uh, enjoyment and people tend to leave the workshops that I deliver on a kind of high you know because for a lot of people African studies is like an unknown entity you know it's kind of this alien concept you know people think it might be around you know slavery or colonialism but I look at the pre-colonial uh, uh, era I've, I've been teaching uh, African studies for the last eight years I'm just going to keep going I don't think there's any specific challenges here which aren't in any other town or city. What I will say is that there is support here for cultural education. People need to come to the Cowley Road, uh, they need to come to uh, Blackbird Lees Road. There is a lot of diversity of uh, provision, but if they're going to stay in central Oxford, they're not going to find it. But if they could introduce some, some of those projects, if I can share some of that uh, positivity then um, that aspect of a community cohesion can uh, come a bit closer and a bit sooner as well.